This is amazing. Recently we saw that Assistance API could replace Autogen. But what if they both can work together? With Autogen and Assistance API, I was able to create this game. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Autogen with Assistance API. This is a huge update from Autogen part. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to run this and set up in your local machine. Before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence in my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and stay tuned. Coming to Autogen, in this example, we created a project manager and a user proxy and made the user proxy ask question to the project manager. I've already covered this in the previous video, which I will link that in the description below. Now we are going to do some modifications for this code. To start, I'm going to install PyAutogen directly from the Git repo to get the latest update and click enter. This will automatically get the latest update from the Git repo. Next, pip install OpenAI and click enter. In the code, we are going to import OpenAI, then from autogen.agentchat.contrib.gpt assistant agent, we are importing GPT assistant agent. This is where we link our assistance API with Autogen. Now I'm going to initialize OpenAI. Next, I'm going to create OpenAI assistance using assistant API. Assistant equals client.beta.assistance.create and Python developer instructions, you are a Python developer and I'm providing the model which is GPT-4 Turbo. Similarly, I'm going to update the GPT-4 model in the config list here. There's one more update which we are going to do in the LLM config that is assistant ID equals assistant.id. Then finally, we are going to create GPT assistant agent. So I'm going to rename this as GPT assistant, then change this to GPT assistant agent. I'm going to give the name equals Python developer. Instead of system message, I'm going to give instructions. That is autogen.assistantagent.default system message. And finally, we are going to pass this GPT assistant in the user proxy initial chat. Then we are going to ask question, create a Sky Invader game, execute it and save the game in the file. That's it. So to summarize, we imported OpenAI and created assistant using OpenAI Assistance API. Then we pass the assistant ID in the LLM config here. Thirdly, we created the GPT assistant agent with instructions and the LLM config assigned to that. And finally, we provided the GPT assistant in the initiate chat. Now we are going to run this code asking it to create a Sky Invader game. In your terminal, export OpenAI API key like this and click enter. Next, Python app.py and click enter. Now you can see the interaction between the user proxy moment present and the Python developer to create a Sky Invader game. I got the response now, I'm going to click enter. This will automatically create the required file and seems like there is an error while executing the function. So probably Autogen will recreate the code and run the test again. And you can see here is the code. The game immediately popped up and went. So I'm going to ask it to slow down the invaders and it should shoot when I click the space bar. Make a dark background. Now it's running. Now it updated the code. I'm going to ask it to execute. Now we can see I'm able to move that and play the game. This is really nice. This is mind blowing. Imagine how many games you can create like this. That's it. As simple as that. Now you can start creating more games like this and more programs like this and reiterate if you want to improve the code. I'm going to make more videos in regards to Assistance API and also Autogen. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.